welcome back to the Museum of Cornish Life. In today's Easy Easter Mix, I'm going to be showing you how to make your own Easter egg potato stamp. Just like these ones I've already made here, just to test them out and see if they worked. So obviously for a potato stamp, you need a potato. I've got this absolutely giant one here. You can have a smaller one. Obviously this one's much smaller. Um, and what you need to do is get an adult to help you with this because you do need a sharp knife. So what you're gonna do is get your adult to cut the potato in half. So this one, because it's so big, I'm going to cut through the middle and I probably need a bigger knife because it's such a big potato, through the middle there. You've kind of almost got yourself an egg shape. And with this one, I did it kind of the other way and along the thinner edge um, because that was a nice egg shape like that. So once you've done that, what you want to do is get your paint in your paper. So I've got some coloured card here and I've also got some paint and I find it easier to paint it onto my potato, but you could just stamp your potato into the paint and you paint it on just like that. And you want to be quite liberal with the paint. You want to put lots on there so it works nicely. And then you press firmly and you stamp that down. Just like that. And that should work. I've missed a spot there where I think I've just left, not put enough paint on it. So make sure you do put loads on. So then to create the pattern, what you want to do is decide what design you would like. So with this one, I just went for stripes. So I'm going to show you how I did that one. And you get your adult again to take their nice sharp knife and you just make grooves in the potato and I do them at angles because then they pop out and you can see that if I hold it up that way you've got kind of like an indent in the potato so you can do whatever pattern you should want um, make sure that you do get an adult to help you with the knife because it's going to be quite sharp and tricky so I'm going to show you with this one I did earlier so I'm going to do some red stripes so I'm going to again paint on quite liberally the paint and you want to put it on the bits that are sticking out, not the bits that you cut out. And just put loads of paint on and pick whatever colours you like and then you want to stamp that down again, press really firmly and then you get your stripes just like that. So that's come up really perfectly. So what you can do is you can cut around that shape and then you've got your nice egg decoration. Or what you can do is take the, the two halves that go together, like these two, and I'm going to show you how I create both colours on the potato. So again, really, really liberally paint that paint on so you don't have any gaps. But if you do have gaps, just put more paint on and re-stamp it. Just like that. I'm going to stamp that down. Press really firmly and it does kind of slide around a bit. So you've got to be really firm with it. Slowly peel that off and look, that's much better. And then I'm going to take my red paint again and I'm going to paint along the lines just like I did when I showed you the first demonstration. Put loads of paint on. And you, can, you do want to leave the first layer to dry a little bit, but I'm just going to show you straight away. Put loads on. You want to pick the same direction that you put the first one down so it kind of matches up. Um, press firmly. It will slide around a little bit. Then slowly peel off. And then you've got your stripes, so that worked really well. And you can do any colours, any designs you fancy. Once you've done that, you can cut around your egg shape and then you can do whatever you fancy with them. You can put them on the front of an Easter card. You can make a banner and string it across saying Happy Easter. So they're really, really useful for your Easter decorations. Thanks very much for watching. Cheers.